in this day and age as a result of the indoctrination and the forced, that is forces, forcing upon us a certain systemology of thought process and the flooding in of, yeah, you could go lean toward eugenics, you could lean toward racism, but in its essence, um, it exists in, I was just talking to somebody who, who raises chickens um, in the Philippines for cockfighting. And whether or not you have a, a glorious view on that, which is, um, it's a terrible thing, right? But anyway, if you're to shut off the information that you can gather, you gather no information and all you'll do is stand on a pre supposed notion of a higher ethic ethics but it's in people it's in the uh, organism it's not only just in human beings it is in animals you know chickens will peck each other to death if you put an unequal number of um, colored chickens you put contact lenses on them which might sound really funny but there's been studies and they won't so that proves that it's a hundred percent um, visually racially biased and even more so that little brain that little chicken brain is pre-wired to react to a majority rule but what do you see uh, on the streets especially here um, you see these little tiny 85 pound mostly females <laughs> grandmas um, zipping around and their little broomsticks and uh, causing complete and total havoc. Sometimes it's insanely, like when you actually see who's driving it, you never would have, um, from, a, from an existential approach, from an indoctrination approach, assumed who is driving the vehicle. And so what's the difference between a vehicle like a car in today's uh, you know, terms and modernity, if you will, and uh, a vehicle that is supposed in the red right so i mean what we're talking about when i listen to nathaniel gillis and his work um it's you could call it the cosmic witch but to use the word cosmic you you're almost asserting that it's an off planetary or off planet um matrix of uh of um coalesce alliance if you will and that's what I have, have come to over and over hell H-E-L Mother Circe the lady of the wood um, people are incapable of thinking hypothetically which is kind of how I started this little video right here is uh, they, they want you to get away from hypothetical thought and, and once you are able to think hypothetically you'll begin to understand what imagination is. It's taking the verisimilitude or the what appears to be true and um, you're showing who you are and what you do with the appearance of truth. Will you bend it to your favor? Well, that's self-craft, right? That's a form of witchcraft. It's a form of black magic. That is black magic in its essence is to short-sightedly feel and then you begin to manipulate a cathartic reaction right you 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 see that emotion emits literally emits like you'll see it in the field you'll see it in, in the wave pattern and you'll see the disruption but what people fail to see is when you gain in the immediate that is a refraction back to you it's only happening because you are now within a finite bubble where there is an echo chamber that is occurring and there are energies that travel beyond your little echo chamber, your small minded echo chamber. And I'm not talking in euphemisms. I'm saying, think about this as a structural concept, a constant, if you will. Um, really try this on. Listen to the physicists as they're describing constructor theory you know, touring machines, spinners, really think about this and try to visualize it 
but be careful when you visualize it because you are creating a constructor for someone else like that they can use aberrantly that, that you are now in the mind of in the one mind in the singularity of imagining something that can be utilized as a, a mechanism of control as a machine so the mind consciousness it's even further beyond the scope of postulation that all is mind all is thought um so what are they they're druids witches gods and men as i have asserted asserted and whether or not they're from this planet originate on another planet um i believe that there is a catastrophic destruction that took place and um <clears throat> you might go oh how much <clears throat> similarity there is to say Dianetics or L. Ron Hubbard well that's the exact point this information is delivered to people and then if they are short-sighted in their hubris they live in a little echo chamber where they essentially destroy themselves you know but it's belabored like in this day and age you would have through cause and effect causality you should have people practicing craft or witchcraft instantly noticed instantly pointed out and um, that would be where the demoralization would occur. But that doesn't, ha doesn't happen because there is an alliance. There's an alliance where people, like I always think of it like the bad robot or the bad monkey, more so, you know. It's like you have all these bad monkeys. You have these people who are not, not only genetically fouled up. Now, am I asserting what the perfect genetic sequence is and then taking this sort of... Um, um, <clears throat> passing of the great race um, type of a stance no am I taking a eugenic stance I'm saying that even eugenics was tampered with early on to where there's a narrative that's bent away from like when you take out purity and purification from the equation which is done over and over again that's how you see the mark of craft witchcraft black magic Black magic is just a very small um, portion of your only cathartic self-will. And then once you get it down, it's like the, the biggest question is what is supporting, what is keeping these people, these entities on life support? What is keeping them alive when they would be the people who were, were taken out in the villages first? Uh, they, they caused a disruption. They, they are the hysteronics. They are the borderlines. Um, they are the, um, the malignant narcissists, they are the seducers, the cheaters, um, the liars, the criminals. They are true criminals, and that's not a criminal against law, because law doesn't exist. That's the whole ironic point to Aleister Crowley's law or lamb. It doesn't exist. And so when you think about hypotheticals, where would this go? Like, if you could think about which is very hard to think about this disruptive system going on for thousands of years if not tens of thousands into hundreds of thousands of years what would happen what would invariably happen it couldn't it can't sustain itself therefore why does it exist after all this time and it is a it is a psyop it is a project um it is a zoo it is a it is a spell it is a manipulation um, and it does tie directly into a technocratic society that is based on the summoning that we would only consider witchcraft or minecraft or selfcraft or again black magic but it is very much technology it is very much technology and you know Indian ink you start to get what esoteric and spooky why go there why not use that as a validator that technology reached a very high point at a time where integration, total integration took place. And so that's what this reset is. That's what the singularity is. That's what all these nerds are pointing to is where they are. You know, I hate to say it, but Ben Gortzall doesn't have any higher mind concepts. I've seen him people dig for it. It's like he's in all these interviews and he really he's he's an aberrant avatar you'd love to respect him you'd love to see his vision and his scope 
but he really doesn't have it. He's he's already bowing to the almighty um, mother uh, AI unit, right? So you really have to see who your heroes are.